Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I have a good sized Costco haul as you can see behind me and so I'm going to turn the camera around and show you all that I bought today. Um, I spent $168 I believe. Um, after I'm done showing you the haul, I will also show you our menu plan. All I'm doing this week is doing Costco. I'm not um, going to another grocery store to get groceries as well. Um, but what was I going to say about that? Oh, um, I did do a big grocery haul last week and so some of the menu items might not, I might not have bought those things today because I have extra from last week. So it doesn't really go along with the grocery haul as well as sometimes, but I will still show you our menu plan for this week. So we'll start over here with the food. I got this big package of romaine lettuce. I really like buying lettuce like this. Um, the leaves are just so much less dirty and um, just really easy to make a salad with. Then um, I got three bags of bananas. They're all pretty green, but that's perfect because we like to eat them when they're not too ripe or turning brown or anything. Um, and then this big bag, I don't remember how much it is. I think it's five pounds though. Oh, six pounds, there you go, um, of gala apples. And then we bought this garlic bread. The kids love this garlic toast. So um, you just put that on a pan and put it in the oven and that will often have this with like some Caesar salad and meat or um, that's usually what we have it with. And then I got these, I've never gotten these before, these ciabatta buns, um, but those look really good and we're gonna have those for supper tonight. And then we also love the Costco bagels. And so I always get this one for myself and the kids. It's the 12 green, multi green. Um, the kids eat them mostly. And then um, my husband loves the jalapeno cheddar bagels, but they're a little bit too spicy for my kids. And then I got some bread. I actually don't usually buy bread. I usually make bread, but I realized that we are just about out of yeast and I didn't think that that was something I wanted to buy at Costco. So I thought to tie this by till I go get some groceries at the grocery store next week, I would just buy a couple of um, loaves of bread. Um, and then I bought some triple berry mix. Um, we were out of berries and I always like to have these in the freezer. We'll use them often with oatmeal and I also like to have them with yogurt or cottage cheese. Uh, speaking of yogurt, here's the plain yogurt that we buy. Two of these um, come in this box and then we got just one stick of butter because we were running low on that. Snacks! All right, we got lots of snacks. These were all on sale. Um, we are having a um, get together coming up and I wanted to bring Chicago mix for that and then these popcorners were on sale and I really do like these carnival kettle um, popcorners and then Elijah saw these and said can we please just get the salt of the earth ones and so I don't really know if he knows like they're just salted there's nothing special but he begged for those and they were each two dollars off so I think they were only $3.99 for a bag so great price on those I got some quinoa, big old bag of it. It's a different brand than I usually um, buy, but we will try that out and we do enjoy quinoa. And then I bought three bags of milk. So each of these bags are four liters. We were running low on cream cheese. And so I got this one. The prices always change at Costco. Like I remember last time I was at Costco, especially on like cheese products. Um, I last time I was there I thought oh this is a great price at Costco but then this time it had gone up by a couple of dollars so I don't know the prices just kind of go up and down I guess just like any grocery store um we like this salami and so it comes in a three pack and then I always like to have an extra cream my other one I just started but I always like to have an extra one because yeah I need that in my coffee and coffee this is the brand we like we really do enjoy this coffee we also get some of their flavor flavored um, hazelnut vanilla beans but that's more just for special times and this one's like our everyday coffee and then vinegar yes believe it or not we go through a lot of vinegar and so this thing has two five liter, um, what do you call those, uh, containers, jugs, that's the word, of vinegar. Um, the biggest reason we use a lot of vinegar actually is because our coffee maker, um, we have hard water. So even though we use Brita filtered water, it will still start to not go through well. Like I'll have to brew a pot three times to fill up the cup anyways. And so we run vinegar through it to clear that out. And we do that every month or two. Um, and then we needed some new laundry detergent. I'm really not picky on laundry detergent. I just get what is the best price. And this one was on sale this week. And so I got that. 
Then a big old thing of toilet paper. This is one of those things I wasn't even planning on buying when we went into the store, but it was on sale. And so every time it's on sale, I pick one up because I think, hey, we're gonna need it soon. And so if it's on sale, I'll just pick it up now. My menu plan is quite small for this week because it's Saturday today and I usually go shopping on Thursdays. So I'm gonna go get groceries next Thursday. So I only needed a few days before my next shopping trip. So for tonight, we are having tuna melts and that is what um, I'm using those ciabatta buns for. Tomorrow we are having a Caesar salad with chicken breasts and I'll probably um, put one of those loaves of garlic bread in the oven for the kids as well. Then we're having some turkey and quinoa and frozen veggies the next day. We're having some more chicken breasts with sweet potatoes and broccoli. And that is the meal I have shared a few times. Ugh, sorry, I have to look at my hands. They're so dry and not doing very well this winter. Um, anyways, um, the meal I've done where I just chop this all up and put it in with some olive oil and garlic powder and put that in the oven and it's a great one dish meal. And then we will be um, barbecuing up some pork chops, depending how cold it is. It might actually go in the oven. Um, and then have some potatoes with that and a garden salad. So that is it for today's haul. Please let me know down in the comments below what your favorite thing to buy at Costco is. Sometimes I'll see something new there that I've never tried. And then it's like, do I want to spend the $15 on this bulk item if I don't know how we'll like it? And there's just, there's so much there and a lot of stuff I've never tried. So let me know down in the comments what your favorite go-to Costco item is. And give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.